what is it called? Subscribe. There we go. Wow, we're both iPad girls. Material girls. Except Material this is school girl. edition. <laughs> this is given to me by the school. This was given to me by my parents. But then my computer, but, I bought myself. Period. So when I buy my iPad, it's going to be funded by Fastball. Fastball? Yeah. Hey man, at least I'm not spending it on. Babe, Miss you girl. had enough time. You're just driving like a maniac. <laughs> I'm reading a message from my my coworkers. Mm -hmm. I can't say the name just in case they like you see blow it? you blow yeah. up and they see it, you know. So I'm just gonna say a random name. This guy from work was like, um, Coco is probably the most slow and dumbest person I've ever <laughs> met met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That person really is though. Oh, I have those pants that she's wearing. Oh yeah, you do. Oh, I've seen them in my tennis ones. Yeah, I used to just rip them off. They're the Nike ones, and they have buttons on the side where they clip. And I used to just rip them off. Like, cause whenever it was like really cold, I'd wear those and then like my shorts under so that I could play, and I just rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that in the tennis vlog, so go ahead and watch that right now. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not right She's now. She's gonna have it after linked, you watch this, <laughs> right? You're gonna have it linked. <laughs> Which side was it? Would it be this one? I don't know. <laughs> I think this She's one. gonna have it linked <laughs> up and then down in the description box. Have good friends around you, have good peers, surround yourself with good people because you're a good person too. Yeah. Like, hopefully, we find boyfriends. <laughs> no, we won't. I'm just sitting here, just throwing it out there. We're single. I'm single for a reason, she's single by a choice. By what? <laughs> by choice. Yeah. <laughs> 19, just in case y'all were wondering. She's 19, she has a job, she has a credit score of 800. Wait, <laughs> like, I think that is it. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, my queen. Thank you. Oh, they never put those little croutons on for me. Did you tell them to? No. <laughs> see, the thing about us is that we literally don't see each other for like months. And, and then we're like, let's hang out. <laughs> I want to film like... Want to watch? Uh, I want to learn how to. What? <laughs> oh, I thought you said I want to know but I could go for a lunch. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat a grilled panini. Oh, okay. Yeah. My tomato soup. It looks really good. She got grilled panini, tomato soup, croutons, and whatever lettuce. <laughs> Little lettuce. They, they said mix. eat. <laughs> they said eat. I said balance it out with your greens. I'm like, bro, they didn't give me a spoon for my soup. <laughs> you want me to go get you one? Or girl, get it. It's okay. She loves me. I moved to Midtown. Me too. Excuse me. So pretty down here. Uh, my name is Charlotte. Charlotte? Mm -hmm. My name is Joshua. Joshua? Okay. So, my first question is what are you guys doing here in Houston? Um, Discovery Green specifically? Um, well, we just came from eating and I was thinking, like, hey, this would be a cool place to take pictures. And she was like, and we kind of came over here. So, are you guys on a date or just something casual? Uh, is it a date? I think it's a date. Do you think it's a date? Yes. It's oh, a date. Yes. It's a date? Okay. So, uh, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, where did you guys meet? We met off uh, Hinge. Hinge? Yeah, oh, yeah, Hinge. Hinge. I wanted to ask you, what do you think is the best quality of each other? So, uh, I know off top, like, she's very, very open and honest and just nice and just like, very polite. I mean, this is our first date. Oh, but, it's uh, first date. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what are you guys willing to to go on a second date? Um, I'm definitely willing to go on a second. Second date. date? Okay. Uh, do we really have a second date? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We we have a second date. Part two is coming. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, stay tuned for uh, a second date. Uh, were you ever like scared of joining Hinge? Like, you know, meeting people online because it's totally different than meeting people in person. Yeah. I do have because I'm a girl. I, yeah. yeah. So sometimes I really worry about it. Yeah. But he's very nice. So I'm really excited. 
Yeah, for me, it's like it's always a gamble, like meeting someone you don't know what what their intentions are, or who they actually are. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't know if you're wasting your time. Or, you know. Hey, Maria. Maria. Sarah. Sarah. Irene. Irene. Okay. <laughs> so my first question is, um, everybody talks about red flags in a man. And men, what are your green flags? Um, <laughs> take your time. It. I'll put. Oh, you got it. Girl. I got you gamers. Got it. I love gamers. <laughs> I swear. Okay. That's a red flag for me. No, oh, that's a red flag for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I love gamers. Okay. So, would you be willing to go on like a skydiving or bungee jumping, like off a cliff type of date, or would you just prefer something more casual, more like sweet? Definitely casual. Definitely ca yeah. casual. I say casual. casual. Yeah, I don't know about jumping off. <laughs> jumping off with a strange man or, or whoever, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna push you over. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> so, what college are you in? Uh, San Jacinto College. San Jacinto College. I just finished at ACC. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be college eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is your dream job as as a moment? Architecture engineer. Architecture engineering. A dentist. Dentist. Okay, wow. I want to travel, so something. I'll find something to do. With oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Oh. Oh, that would be good. A travel nurse. Yeah. Think you would get a better experience at a bigger college, or do you like really like your experience at the smaller college? I definitely do think that at a four-year university, you're gonna get a much a variety of experiences like you know more friends like there's parties there's get-togethers yeah but with college it's very different because it's community college so you go into the class and then you get out of school and then you know you go home you're not really there to like study or you know have friend groups or any sort of thing at least for me I'm going to say I have no friends <laughs> Education wise, definitely community college. Yeah. I feel like if you want to do like your basics, I feel like it's better to go there. That's what I did. Um, but if you want like the college life, like everyone went to Texas State, they're like, I'm gonna party and yeah. everything, then definitely go over there. But I, I guess I prefer a smaller community, community college. college. Yeah, okay. what about well, you said you were going, well, not yet. <laughs> I want to go to community college just yeah. because um, I heard that it's better to kind of like start off there and then you know, Transfer? know what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what advice would you give to high school seniors right now who are like, you know, on the fence of going to college, especially with the pandemic and like the SAT, you know how they made everything, um, what is it, test optional? Uh, what, what is your advice to them? Don't overwork yourself. Don't overwork it's yourself. just high school, you know, college, it's honestly college is much more easier for me than high school ever was. So, you know you know study and everything but just you know also have fun you know go out with your friends and do this and that yeah, that's true <laughs> oh be prepared i feel like when i was applying to college it's only applied to like two and some of that i didn't get in so i guess that's why i stayed at community college for a little bit yeah. so definitely have your options open and apply to wherever you need to apply to that's good. Yeah. um i don't know i guess to try your best and like try to do your work but at the same time life you know goes by quickly so don't like overdo it if that makes sense yeah, just be yeah able to try to enjoy life at the same time and do All things right. you want to do yeah. so i was going to ask you some questions about your bike um how much did it cost for you to originally get it this is my first bike i paid like 700 dollars. 700 dollars. okay yeah. and what is your favorite aspect about just riding with everybody the freedom the freedom just being out there your mind is somewhere else and relaxation relaxation Okay. What advice would you give to somebody who just is like too shy to actually join? Just show up. Just show up. Just show up. With any kind you of bike? Any kind of bike. Any kind of bike. It okay. doesn't matter. And you'll make a lot of friends before you know it. I know a lot of people here already. You'll make a lot of friends. Okay. There's, and, and you can't be shy. Just show up. Okay. So I heard that you're with a crew. What crew is it? The Hondo crew. Okay. So uh, what is like the average cost of a bike? Average cost, um, basically, it's pretty much just just ride retail, retail price until until you know you save us more money and upgrade more parts. What is like your favorite upgrade to do on a bike? Uh, paint job. Paint job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and like, how many times a week do you like clean in? Like, uh, it, it depends <laughs> of um, how many bikes I'm doing. As as for myself, I got like seven bikes. Oh, okay. So I try to. Uh, clean them once I finish using them. I guess almost every day I'm guessing. <laughs> so what advice would you give to somebody who just wants to ride out with y'all but is too shy to do so? 
Uh, don't be come out from your com uh, comfort zone and just come meet new uh, meet new people and have an experience. It's totally different out here instead of just riding by in a car. It's better on the bike. You get to see a lot more things okay. that you never see. All right. Well, thank you. I'm sorry for the short interview. I'm just not really good at this. <laughs> I don't backwards. How much does your bike cost right now? Right now, I don't know. Maybe over twelve hundred. Over twelve hundred. Okay. So, uh, what price did you originally buy it for? Six hundred. And um, what are all the specs you did? Like, what what did you aspect? The accent that you see in gold. Mm -hmm. That's what I had, uh, added to, and the tires and the lights, and these right here. The spec. I mean the, the bike. <laughs> okay. So, what's your favorite part about riding with everybody? I get to free my mind of everything that's going on in my life. Uh, my name is Donnell Kennedy, but everybody calls me Donkey because I kick back. <laughs> <laughs> and they said you're one of the leaders of the Ratchet Riders? Uh, yes, I guess you can say that, but we're all leaders here. We make our own decisions. We choose whether we want to do whatever we want, right? Yeah. You know, we're, we're our own leaders, you know. What is your favorite aspect about just riding with everybody? I mean, really, it's just very, very therapeutic, you know. I mean, even if, it, besides like being with a group, just like by yourself sometimes. And, you know, when you're driving in the car, you don't really get to look at everything. But then, you know, you're on your bike, it's kind of like nostalgic, you know, reminds you of your childhood. and. You know, and then as an adult, it's even better because, you know, your mama can't tell you to come inside or you're going too far. You can go anywhere you want, you know. It's, that's, it's, it's very therapeutic. That's my, that's what I say. It's not the best thing about it, you know. What advice would you give to somebody that's just too shy to come out here and join? Oh, I mean, I've never really been a shy person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to just break it. If, if, if you want to, you know, you'll do it. You know, you don't necessarily have to. Uh, talk to anybody, but you know, you know, people will talk to you. We're, we're, we're a lot social out here, you know. Uh, we kind of all we look out for each other, even if we don't know you. If you're getting left behind, if you know, if, you know, if you, your bike breaks down, somebody's gonna stop and try to help you, you know. So we all kind of stick together. So even if you are shy, eventually you'll meet somebody and then you'll know everybody. Uh, well, uh, I guess uh, me and my friends, we used to kind of just ride around the neighborhood and kind of go to bars and drink and everything. And we kind of stumbled upon uh, other groups of rides, you know, and uh, I would say, you know, kind of like, you know, you see it and you kind of want to jump in it. So slowly but surely, especially with Corona, bars closing and everything, everybody was just seeing it and they, they want to join and, you know, they'll ask. A question. It kind of was like a, a like a group. You know, one person sees it, they see it, somebody else see it, and we just tell them, "Hey, come join us." It's slowly, merely accidental, pretty much. And y'all come join us. Don't join us on Instagram. <laughs> join us out here. I right, on right. the street. The more riders we get, the more better drivers people start to respect bicyclists. You know, so the more the merrier. Y'all come out here. We good. Don't hit us with your car.